Hi everyone, this is Blake Anderson, and in this video I'm going to cover how to quickly make a slideshow in Final Cut Pro so that you can use your photography, uh, your stills, and create just very dynamic slideshows very quickly. Uh, I'll explain to you how I create sort of these blur effects using these, the slideshow, and explain to you how you can create a slideshow probably in about, you know, five, five minutes, you know, using Final Cut. Uh, if you did like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day. Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to go through how I created this slideshow. And this slideshow is from the Collision uh, conference that I attended. I'm going to show you how you can create a quick slideshow like this for yourself uh, in Final Cut Pro. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into Final Cut Pro. And what I've done here is I've created a project. And what I'm then going to do is I have these pictures here, right? And I'm going to drag these pictures into this project. I'm going to drop it into this project, right? And then what it's going to ask me is to figure out the properties of the project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to vertical and you could do this as uh, just a, a regular you know, timeline if you're going to do a different kind of post. But in this example, I'm just going to show you how you can do this in you know, a story. So I'm going to select this resolution. That, what that's going to do is that's going to, um, you know, fit the pictures to the, the timeline, right? And into the frame. What I want to do is I want to create a background to these images so that it's not just black, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all these pictures. Actually, no, before that, I'm going to shorten some of these pictures and in terms of the timing. And so what I do then is I'm going to click on this right here and I'm going to put maybe 30 seconds. And so what that's going to do is it's going to make it, or sorry, 30 frames. So it's going to make the pictures a bit faster, right? The second step then is to copy these pictures and then paste them uh, again. What I'm going to do then is overlay them over here, uh, over these pictures. I'm going to delete this extra little piece here. Now I have two layers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a, a compound clip. I'm going to call it maybe the base layer. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, increase the scale of this so that the background is overtaking, so the pictures are overtaking the background, right? And then what I'm going to do is also going to add a blur. And so then I drop the Gaussian blur onto the background and then that creates that cool kind of blur effect uh, that gives it a nice look. And the last step of, or like one of the last steps is to create a frame around this, um, these pictures, right? And you don't have to do this, but I like this touch. So in order to create a simple frame, you're going to go to all videos and audio and simply search simple and it comes up with a simple border. You're going to drag that onto the first picture. You're going to, I guess for me at least, I keep it to white. So I select it to white. I make the width, you know, usually I'm like around seven. And so what that's done now is create a frame around this first picture, right? And I'm going to copy this, uh, you know, that properties, and I'm going to add to the rest of the pictures by doing shift command V, and then that's going to generate my paste attributes. And it, it allows me then to drop uh, the simple border onto all pictures. So there you go. That's um, all the pictures having a frame now. And, but the last step of what I want to do is I'm going to then create, this is another compound clip just to kind of simplify things. So I'm going to call this maybe the, the top, or let's just call it maybe the pictures. And what I like to do is also just add a little bit of uh, adjustment layers to kind of add just a slight effect on top of the pictures. I'll explain that in a sec here. So what I usually do is I'll put two adjustment layer on top and there's a way to download and create these adjustment layers yourself. I will leave a link in the description in terms of how to do that. Uh, but once you've figured out how to um, create adjustment layers, you can put two layers on top. And then what I typically do is, so I have Max on one, right? Uh, it's a color grading uh, plugin software uh, by Magic, and so they have Magic Ball looks. And what I like to do is I like to add a little mojo to my pictures, so that creates a bit of a movie type look. And what I'm going to do is just make it a little bit less, it's not so drastic around maybe 25. So that kind of creates a little blues, uh, give it that little film look I like. Um, I mean, I could just do this to the background, not to the pictures, so they don't affect, you know, the actual color grading of the pictures. And so maybe we'll do that. So the background is now a little bit more of the mojo. And actually what I might do is I might up it a bit. So there you go. It kind of creates that cool blue look. 
uh, teal look. But the, the, the final adjustment layer we're going to do is going to add a bit of noise. So, um, you know, Maxim 1 does have uh, Magic Bullet Renoiser. And what I typically do is I'll just add, you know, some image vitamins maybe. Or you could also do compression proofing because that, you know, allows it to be, uh, you know, compression to be a little bit uh, less. Or like, uh, you know, they, they add some noise and, and do certain things to help you with the compression, right? There you have it. So that's the way you can create a quick slideshow. Uh, you know, maybe I would just create, put this all together again in one more compound clip and just say this is the final. And then what I might do is, I, you know, just to create a cool uh, introduction, what I might do is add a bit of a blur um, transition. So let's just say I'm going to use a simple transition both to the beginning and to the end. And I might lessen this a little bit here. Or if I can do that, just up here. So maybe make it like five and then you know do the same here there you go so that what's going to then it's going to open like this right so yeah that's how you can create a quick slideshow in final cut you can you know create this yourself if you want in final cut i would say under you know five minutes and if you like this video please like and subscribe